I recently replaced my Oceanic BCD inflator as it would slowly self-inflate over time. The kit contains the main inflator unit, two cable ties, the dump valve rubber washer. You can see how the rubber components have worn. The pin to attach the pull cord and the dump valve spring seal. I thought I'd repair the old inflator to keep just as a spare. Using two screwdrivers, pry the inflator button off. Using a shifter, undo and remove the inlet fitting. There is a latch that retains the dump button assembly in place. Using a flat screwdriver, depress the latch and pop the button out. Remove and clean the O-ring and the dump button assembly. Also clean inside the inflator. The Schrader valve lets the compressed air in when the inflator button is pressed. I couldn't get the proper tool, so I just ground down an Allen key. Line up the flat spots on the Schrader valve and undo and remove the valve. It's a small valve that looks the same as a bicycle valve. When the valve is depressed, it allows compressed air to flow from the red side into the BCD. The red rubber seal is worn and that's what's causing the BCD to self inflate. I've got a brand new valve the same size to replace it. Lubricate all O-rings before reassembling. You'll probably need tweezers to reassemble the valve back into the inflator. Then tighten the valve back into place. Take care not to over tighten the valve. Line up the deflation button with the notch in the inflator and press down until it clicks back into place. Lubricate the o-ring on the inlet fitting and screw it back into the inflator. Don't over tighten it. Lubricate the o-ring on the inflator button. And insert the inflator button with the spring back into the inflator. It will take a little bit of jiggling to get it to snap back into place. Use a flat screwdriver to assist. And we are done. Connect the inflator to your scuba gear and test that it works. Last of all, check for compressed air leaks to ensure that the overinflation problem is fixed.